Hi, I'm Larry and welcome to my studio. Today's lesson will be a pastel in how to blend with pastels. I thought that maybe I should be doing some of those techniques and, and tips that I had thought about doing originally. So from now on I'll be doing occasional new techniques or something that I've learned or something that's just basically fundamental to pastels. So be on the lookout for those. You can check out my blog spot and find the link to any information. There's also a lot of information in the sidebar. So let me get set up here and we'll get started. Thank you for watching. Well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some chalk mixing. Now what that means is I'm just going to use the chalk to mix my colors. First I'm going to work from a, a darker color. This is my indigo and this isn't anything. This is just a shape. So you know so I don't have anything that I'm referencing other than something that's already established in my head. Um, I'm just making some chalk strokes here. It's going to end up being a ball. But this is this is indigo. This is a a darker chalk. It's a kind of a a soft. It's not a real soft, but it's a kind of a in between a, a middle type grade of of pastel. It's not hard. It's not soft. And then next, this is this is another version of indigo. It's you have to look at them when you buy them. Move that down just a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to go over and create another layer with this. I'm not going to blend it. I'm just using chalk marks blend it a little bit into the other indigo. This is another little bit lighter version. So I'm just, this is a kind of a soft pastel. It's going to come in and just blend with the chalk, blend the two areas together and then move it on up just a little bit. Shape, shape my ball light's going to be coming in from this direction up here and this is this isn't you know I'm, I'm not framing this and selling it or anything this is this is just practice this is things that you need to do you know to if you're uncomfortable or un unsure of what you're doing this is a little bit lighter version now the all all of these may say indigo when you go to buy them. Um, that's the one problem with pastels. I can't really tell people what to get because they'll go run through the whole gamut from dark to light and call it the same color. Next lightest one. I'm just doing this as to show you what what you can do. Another light one. Each time I'm going into the, the previous layer that I had and kind of blending with just the chalk. I'm and I'm not doing just one type of stroke. My if you notice my hand is is twisting back and forth. I'll get it down here where you can see. Then I can take, this is kind of a cream color. Just come in here. Blend back into the previous colors with that. And finally, right in the center here, I'll just put some white. But that's all the blending I need to do with that. You can do the same thing to make a different color. So here's, here's another blue. I'm just going to take my blue and just going to 
kind of skim it across here. And I'm going to pick up, this is a yellow. Here, here's, here's the yellow. But as I just blend, see, it goes from yellow to green. So this is one way if you don't have a color, look for colors that you like that are close. Remember your color wheel. Yellow and, and blue make green. You know, red and blue make purple. Yellow and red make orange. So you actually have all the colors that you need in your in your box. You just have to be creative with it. So I'm going to do this again. That's the blue. Now this is an orange. Orange is the complement to blue. So if I come in, there's my orange, and I come in and I go across the blue. See how now I've got like a burnt sienna, right? Right there. So don't be afraid to play with this. This is, this is how you learn. You know, this is just Bristol paper. I didn't want to waste, you know, this is just practice, so I didn't want to waste my sanded paper. Um, if, if I were to want this, I would have to spray it to keep working on it. After a while, the chalk just builds up. But you can see the pattern left from the paper. Some people like that. Other people don't. I happen to be in that second category. But, you know, it, it, this becomes your, your, um, your project. Okay, I'll do one more and show you, start again with the blue. This time I've got a red. Okay, so here's my red. Now, this is, let's see if I can find a better red. One that is a little more on the red side. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, we'll go back to this one. Get one that works. Okay. So there's the red. Come into the blue, and it makes a really nice lavender color. So that's that's what I suggest you do. Have have a piece of paper that is off to the side, and you know, so you can blend it and see how it looks together. You can always make up something. Don't. If it doesn't match completely, don't worry about it. Unless you tell somebody, they will never know. So I'm going to reset here a bit, and then I'm going to show you same colors, but I'm going to use blending uh, with, with either my finger or, or Stumpy or something. Be right back. Okay, I've just moved my paper over a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better in frame. I'm going to use the same colors. But this time I'm going to do my blending mostly with my fingers. I use like a stumpy or a color shaper when I'm uh, getting into small places. Okay, so here's that, that dark indigo. It's kind of a blue-gray. Then I'm going to take the next version of indigo, and I'm just going to put it right, right along the top of that. I'm not going to blend it. And like I was saying, you need to experiment, find out what what you like to do, what looks good to you. My next layer, I'm not not blending with. The chalk right now, I'm just putting color down. Got some odd shaped 
round things here. Here's the a little bit lighter version. A little bit of chalk blending going on as I want to fill in. Finally, here's the white right there in the center. Okay, now I'm going. I always start in the lightest area and and work out for the most part. Um, I'm going to put an asterisk behind that because nothing is ever absolute in any art. But normally, I start in the light because it it won't matter if I get this a little bit lighter but it will matter if I get this a little bit too dark so I'm just going to come in and just with little circles I'm just going to start working my way out just lightly blending this is using my little finger because it was the cleanest now I have a wet washcloth here on the desk with me so if it gets a little bit too messy I can wipe off some of the chalk and come back and do it again so I'm just making little circles and lightly blending kind of use chalk on your fingers to work the edges a little bit now I do not suggest if you are ever working in a classroom situation that you blow the chalk dust I have a my and I say don't blow it and I do it anyway you want to dump it into a trash can or something take it outside and blow it um, I'll show you what happens now that I've got a little bit of that dust in there kind of darkens it just a little bit because it's still still chalk so I can just come in and take my white add a little bit more white in there and blend it out but the chalk dust is very very fine and if you have respiratory problems or if your neighbor has respiratory problems you don't want to make it worse so take it outside and blow it or dump it in the trash can it didn't want to cooperate with me today but I can always come back in and erase it and just take an eraser and erase it or take a white chalk and go over it so now I'm going to do the one with the blending and making primary colors I'm just going to come in put this down on all three get that out of the way first up was was yellow so here's yellow and yeah it's going to it's going to make green because I'm putting the yellow over it. But now I'm going to come in and just blend the two together with my finger. Now you can take a stumpy and do, do it that way. What I find with stumpies is that they tend to take off more than they leave. There are also color shapers of various sizes and shapes these are very soft they have soft tips and you can blend with those same thing they're like having little tiny itty bitty fingers and all that really has done is just smooth out my color come back in with orange here's the the orange gonna come over my orange 
with my or my blue with my orange and and blend a lot of times I will do something like this I'm going to add a little more blue just because no no particular reason so it turns out a, a little bit different color brown but if I don't have a color or if I'm looking for a background I do this a lot of times for my backgrounds okay here's that it's not really red it's more of a pink but bring that over wipe my finger off get some of that orange off and then just just lightly blend to get that lavender color okay so that is two forms of blending with with one with with just the chalk and other blending with your fingers or uh, some kind of implement you can also use a chamois cloth so practice this and have fun with it if you want some more information you can go to my blog spot uh, you can follow me on Instagram and um, just remember that we're all in this together stay calm and Call your neighbors, call your family, and most of all, keep painting, and I will see you in class. Thank you for watching.